Hi everybody, Cindy here with Pathways Homestead. Once again, we are in the greenhouse. In a recent video, I showed off the plants that we bought at Sutherland's on sale. They had an amazing sale. I neglected to get my cabbage plants started this year. We had such a, what we thought a disaster with our cabbage last year that actually ended up turning out fairly well. And we canned quite a bit of cabbage and enjoyed it throughout this winter and still have some left, especially in soups. It was really good, added a nice flavor to soups. So I went ahead and picked up um, 48 cabbage plants and my bell peppers didn't germinate very well. So I did pick up some California Wonder bell peppers and then I also picked up flowers you guys can go back to last year's garden to the small garden look at the little garden videos and we so enjoyed the flowers in the little garden last year that we're gonna try that again this year well over a hundred plants for flowers started they are marigolds to go around both gardens and in the big and the little garden and we'll see about putting some of those in some of the other gardens that we hope to get going again this year we hope to have another three sisters garden and we hope to add a pumpkin patch we're going to see though time has been really crazy gary's had lots of work i've had lots of work and so we're just trying to get caught up we feel like we're running behind all the time we're just going to travel around a bit and look at the plants that we've up potted we did get a little frost one day and lost some plants we believe it was frost it was either frost or it got too hot in here we're not sure which one but this one down here on the end has another seedling sprouting so we're going to wait on it the gary and i both have been working as time allows on up potting plants these are cherry tomatoes so in this point in this pot and this one are large red cherry tomatoes in this one we have the yellow pear tomatoes our old standby and best-selling tomato is the yellow pear the large red cherries or salad tomatoes do very very well at the farmers market as well these pepper plants to up pot they're not doing well all these to up pot these that made it out of this to up pot we have all these jalapenos to up pot on all these jalapenos to up pot and all these peppers to up pot these are our anaheims and our um, big gems so they're all kind of an Anaheim type or New Mexico patch whatever you want to call it we've been working on up potting our Amish paste tomatoes we finished those up yesterday and so we have like 40 something Amish paste tomatoes these here are the German pinks and we, those are our next, I have them next on the table to up pot. Back in the back we have Rutgers on this one row and several that are empty that we need to dump and redo. These are Jubilee, these little ones. Jubilee is Gary's favorite tomato. So Gary started these plants and we will have his favorite yellow or orange whichever color you would call that and then the Abe Lincoln Abe Lincoln tomatoes are a new variety we're trying this year this tray is our baby greens and so this is kale beets there's lettuce in here we did put some radishes in as well and are getting some radishes of, of some size and we also like to eat the leaves in our greens as well so that's our greens tray these are the peppers that I bought at Sutherland's and we have the marigolds petunias and vinca that I bought at Sutherland's and of course the cabbages we have our black beauty eggplant here in this top row and Gary went ahead and started some watermelon. It's a, little, it's a little early for the watermelon, but Gary has a goal. 
he wants to have a watermelon for the 4th of July. And so he went ahead, he went ahead and started watermelons early. We're going to see how that goes for him. These are onions that needed to have been out a month ago, but they are in sad shape. We'll, we'll see what survives. So thank you everybody for coming along on our tour of the greenhouse. And I'm going to get busy and get some up potting done before I need to leave and run some errands today. Thanks for joining us and I pray you have a blessed day.